This is Elena Wien-Mikkelsen and this is uh, Documentary 2. I'm going to read up a police file um, that explains more detail, year for year, what happened to me and in Maria. Um, so I start with 2009. With the beginning of the year, Helena and Angel moved into the house in Juma, Sifrulan. Helena bought it in 2007 to have a farm with horses and nature around. She wanted to build up a stable life for Angel Maria and herself. When Helena bought the house, there was no plan or speech of to build up houses beside her house. 2010 In the year, the neighbors started to build up a roadhouse on the right side of Helena's property. Pictures are existing. 2011 in that year, the neighbors on the right side of Helena's property started to build up their house with the illegal uh, uprising of the road. It can be proved by pictures. In, the, in that year, the drinking water was polluted by the neighbors. Helena and Angel got sick. The water got uh, septic because of illegal working activities of the neighbors. Proof is to be found on 21 pages of judgment papers. Uh, as a file uh, on a file on Helena's computer. At 8 in 1st, 2012, Helena moved with Angel into a house in Evia just to have peace and fresh water. They were forced to do so because the commune Froland did not want to help and the neighbors did not want to fix what they had ruined. Helena had to pay the rent for that house and the loan for her house in Froland, also for electricity. Uh, see link www.nrk.no slash sørlande slash for ikke hjelp av kommunen. Um, that was uh, television news about the case. Uh, note, on the 30th of 11, 2011, the first headline of the newspaper Froelengen was dealing with the destiny of Helena and Angel. And the headline was Mother and daughter are living with poison water. Uh, in July 2012, another headline story in Froelending was dealing with the life of Helena and Angel. In 2012, also uh, TV news, television were reporting about the circumstances of Helena and Angel's life. At this time, also the commune of Froeland was interviewed also by television before. This more newspaper front page uh, articles about the case. Uh, examples for further newspaper reports is here. In 2012, Helena uh, uh, went to court and won over the neighbors. Uh, Helena should get about a half million Norwegian uh, crowns from the neighbors to be able to build up a water system again and for lawyer costs. At least Helena, uh, in the end of a lot of things happened uh, towards her by the neighbors, accepted 100,000 uh, Norwegian crowns because she got totally scared of what the neighbors did to her, her animals and angel. Elena got uh, no support from police or anybody. And even the police did not show up when Helena was calling them. As Helena won the first court, the neighbors did not accept. And so they wanted to take the next level. The commune helped the neighbors because they uh, sent a com up communal companies to bring wrong information, uh, uh, sabotaged, uh, uh, maps, etc., concerning the next court level. For example, are uh, Avida renovation changed their mind because they, uh, they explained to Helena that they don't want to be involved in that case and drove away, although it was uh, uh, obvious for them to see what the neighbors really had done there. Helena also won over the commune in Froland after a a decision in Fylkes uh, 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 Mannen. In that decision, the allowance of Rola Commune concerning what the neighbors can do while they build up the whole house on the right side was unvalid. Valid. 
Helena won every case because it took several rounds. At this time, the wardman of Rola Commune named Willy Hagland was astonished that Fylkesmann took the case by his own in initiative and he said that only a few out of hundreds of cases will be unvalid by the Fylkesmann and uh, said in the newspaper Frolanding. Helena won three rounds towards Froland Commune by the Fylkesmann until 2014. In 2000, uh, um, we said, the neighbors had to lower the drainage tube and to bring out the road further away from Helena's property until the 1st of 9, 2014. Uh, but before the ending of that deadline, they succeeded by getting rid of Helena, Angel and their animals. So far, the neighbors did not obey the judgment and Frula Commune can hide behind inhability. Note, external papers of the courtyard are existing. Note, Helena asked for commune papers concerning the building case. These papers are existing. She discovered manipulated maps of her area and the area of the neighbors. For example, the place of the neighbors' houses were uh, fixed in the maps much further away from Helena's house than that they uh, are in reality. That also goes out for the water dike. The man who gave the papers to Helena, Ole Tom Örnevik, he was the uh, vicar uh, uh, working in the placement of Svein Lauvrak explained in a certain way that the papers are manipulated. If you find not all the teams inside, which are standing on the list of the contents. <laughs> Hans Jomas, member of the technical etat of Froland Commune, he lives in Froland, name was on one of the false maps. Helena confronted him with the false constant of the maps and he gave her a threat. He said, if Helena would put his name and the false maps on Facebook, it would be worse for her. He used a very special threatening tone. He used a company name on his maps he even did not work for. Company name was Rapster. Summer 2011. Witness. Rual Bredsta. Stel. In this summer happened a lot of intimidations by the neighbors, aggression in verbal form or a, a lack of announcing the use of dynamite for their works. No neighbor warnings for Helena. Helena and her daughter and the animals were frightened several times. The neighbors came to Helena's house and got very aggressive in discussions. The neighbors placed a tent with three Polish people who worked for them uh, directly on the edge of Helena's property. She heard the Polish people all the time and they were able to look into the living room of Helena's house and bothered her dogs. The neighbors said that the tent was standing on the best place of their field uh, on their property. Somewhere in 2013, Uwe Gunnarsson and also the neighbor, which is now the major of Ruland Commune, and also the neighbors made false Facebook accounts after Helena blocked them. Obviously, they wanted to follow Helena's account, Facebook account on the official track. It is still possible to follow uh, that tracks on Facebook. Date 31 in 12, 2011 to 1st in 1st, 2012. The neighbors having a party at the left side of Helena's property. With lights, they went over to the house on the right side uh, that were still in a building process and not built it up yet. For one and a half hour, they were standing there shooting rockets towards Helena's horses and the house of Helena. They were making fun of it and they were laughing about Helena. She called a friend, Rua Bredsten, who showed up approximately about one and a half, uh, uh, one uh, and one uh, thirty in the night, and he made photos of the firework garbage. In between, Helena called the police for help. A policeman said that the policeman cannot come. He gave the advice to record the scene with a mobile and take that as evidence to the local police on the next working day. Helena was scared and she shivered. 
Angel was with her father in Holland. When Helena wanted to show that evidence, then to the local police officer back then, Uwe Gunnarsson, uh, he didn't want to see it and just said he had known these people uh, uh, in many years and couldn't believe they had done that. But they had and Helena had the uh, uh, video evidence for it. He was also aggressive on the phone uh, to Helena and uh, again Helena didn't get help and uh, also no chance to show her evidences. 31 in 12 um, and uh, 13, uh, uh, in, uh, for, uh, to 31 in 12, 2013, to first in first 2014. The neighbors shoot again rockets against the horses and Helena's property. Angel was uh, there this time and she got really, really scared. She ran into the house and Helena called the police again to get help. Police did not have enough people to come for helping, they said. So Helena recorded again the incident and wanted to give that video and pictures to the police later on. Um, the, uh, then there was a new local police officer called Robert Walter Lee. It became a criminal charge, but Helena denied to uh, 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 meet the neighbors at conflict ward and Elena just hoped for a different level of justice and uh, not just a talk. Uh, but the file was closed due to lack of evidences, evidences which have been accepted there as valid before. 22 uh, in 1st 2014. Elena was driving at Jomosvein from the centrum back home in between the uh, uh, dog pensionat uh, up in Jomas and the entrance road to Helena's property. Can Rune Blankenbrand uh, drove with his car, a yellow van, nearby Helena's car. And by pure will, he destroyed the mirror at the driver's door of Helena's car with, with his mirror. Without stopping and looking for damage he caused by doing that, he just drove further away very fast to get away from what he had done. Elena felt shocked and she stopped directly. She took a picture of the mirror damage and afterwards she called the local police officer Robert Walter Lee and explained what had happened. But she nearly could not explain because she was crying too much. Elena told him who the driver was and mentioned uh, what would have happened if Angel would also have been in the car. He only felt... Uh, um, like leaving his, his office and check the local traffic circle if he could see the yellow van. Afterwards he requested the photos of the damaged mirror and Helena sent them over to him. He talked, uh, um, uh, he talked to Ken Rune Blankebank and he lied and said that Helena drove into his mirror. And then it didn't come anything out of that case either. So they again got away with their crimes towards Helena. End of April 2014, beginning of May 2014. In this period of time, Helena and Angel got visitation from Jim Wilkinson, a man from Texas, United States, to document a few things. He had made photos of, his, of the property and the neighbors. Afterwards, the police arrived at Helena's place and told Jim that the neighbors declared he had been on their property to make pictures of their children in a naughty way. They said further on they had to take the children away. But the children had been still there. It was just lies said by the neighbors. The uh, policemen have been very rude, so that also Angel got scared. They told Helena to move away. Jim have, uh, uh, has been to the local police officer, Robert Walter Lee, for a few hours recording a testimony about the case. Uh, Robert Walter Lee knew the two police officers and mentioned that one of these policemen are known to be an asshole to people. The testimony has never been given to him, like promised, via Robert Walter Lee, but it is still available uh, at the police station in Arendal, if that also hasn't disappeared. Uh, the day Jim appeared, seven of the neighbors showed up uh, on the ground. They were screaming, provoking, threatening, 
at this day they started to build up the, some high bushes, which are still there. Afterwards follows a cloud uh, uh, down written report of him. First, I'd like to say that everything Helena has told you uh, in regards to things that happen at her place to her and to Angel and, uh, uh, and the animals are absolute truth. She had not told you any lies. And she is definitely not crazy. I made two trips to Norway and my own experience because I know that she feared for her and Angel's safety because of everything that was going on. If I myself didn't believe her, do you think I would have done that? So again, I ask that you listen and believe what she says about everything that happened there. Helena and I were on Skype on New Year's Eve of 2013 to 2014, when the neighbors started shooting fireworks and rockets at the horses. I heard all of the noise in the background and heard how upset both her and Angel were. Prior to this happening, Helena and I spent many nights on Skype talking her case and about how the neighbors threatened both her and Angel. At first, I could not believe that everything she said was actually happening. But the more we talked, the more I realized that these things were actually occurring. That New Year's Eve night certainly proved to me how crazy these people were. If they could do this to her horses, they certainly were capable of treatment, uh, treatment. Uh, she and Angel uh, 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 received from them uh, um, to do the threats they uh, did to me and Angel Marie. The first time I uh, uh, visited back in February, February of uh, uh, the last year, I had a chance to sit with Helena and go through all of the evidence that she had collected as the damage done to her property by the neighbors. I believe that a large part of the reason these people threatened her and Angel like they did is they were outsiders and they were a little bit different than they were. As time went by, they found that Helena had no problem speaking the truth about everything. And that is something they did not like. She was bringing the truth into light. And they just did not like that fact. I also think that they wanted her land and her house. Since that area had uh, uh, been in the families uh, uh, in se several uh, generations. Um, and uh, which, while I was there, the neighbors were pretty quiet. As my presence was made known to them, I was the long-haired American in the black leather cowboy hat, so they pretty much left Elena alone that time. But I did witness the threat to, uh, treatment and uh, threats even that Angel was being put through. Several times I saw the neighbor children walk down to a different bus stop while left Angel by herself at the bus stop on the end of the driveway. I also was there when they started having an adult ride on the bus with Angel to prevent other children and that those children to bully her and bother her. I also was present when Helena and Angel talked about the things they were doing to her on the bus and uh, at the school. Angel did not deserve any of this treatment or things done to her. The only reason this was happening was that it was a way for the parents to get back at Helena, to get back at her because she wanted they uh, uh, she wanted her uh, uh, property fixed, that they damaged that they damaged when their house houses and uh, car roads were built up. Another thing I saw with my own eyes was that any time and every time Helena would make a post on Facebook in regards to her court case against the neighbors or about the damage they had done on her property or any maps or anything at all, uh, or about the way they treated her and Angel and animals, there would be a lot of traffic going back and forward between the neighbors' houses on the right on, 
and the houses on the left of Helena's place. So it was obvious they were spying on Helena's Facebook page, watching uh, really anything and everything she uh, posted. The second time I was there, at the end of April, first week of May, the neighbors were again aware of my presence there, but this time they did, they did not hide and stay out of sight and try to, uh, and, and try to uh, intimidate both Helena and I. They uh, um, failed to uh, intimidate me, but they sure tried their best. Um, the weekend that they were putting in the, that weekend they put it in a tall hatch uh, by the end of the property line. We could hear them making loud, rude comments about Helena while we sat in chairs by the horse stables. At that point, we both started laughing out loud back to them. They became pretty quiet at that point, but any time I would be uh, outside, they would again try to intimidate me by staring at me and things like that. But I would just stare right back at them. I would sit outside with my camera and then I'd rather take some pictures till they stop. And they were of course not happy with that, but it was my way of, of uh, uh, making the intimidation stop. They were so unhappy with that, that they, they again called the police in Arendal and made false charges against me. They said I was reported to have been at the neighbor's property taking pictures of the children. I have not. I will never photograph children, and also not in those ways they try to say, unless I'm being paid or asked uh, to make their photographs. Photographs. I do have eth ethics when it comes to that kind of things. They even uh, stated that they had to send their children away. Both claims were absolutely lies. As the kids were still there the whole time, I was at Helena's. The two police officers that came out were rude and intimidating. They made comments about uh, some few stuff laying around the property, that, we, that, uh, that, it was, that was not good for Angel. They even suggested that Helena should move away from there. They also threatened to arrest me if I did not stop take pictures. Uh, it's strange that over three years time had Helena multiple calls to the police and requests for the police to help her and they didn't come once and did nothing but when I was there the minute the neighbors complained and filled false charges towards Helena and I they show up at once and at the same day, I will continue soon.